Styx Media is currently speed running an absolute masterclass on YouTube for all of us to witness. And today, we are not only going to break down exactly how they are doing it, but they were both willing to hop on a call with me and let me interview them as well. We, we watched yeah. your uh, breakdown of Joyride. We're like, this guy, like, he, he gets it. He gets yeah. it. So let's ask Lucas and Curtis our top questions, dive into their storytelling, editing, and philosophy behind how they are taking the internet world by storm with their Netflix YouTuber trailers. All of this is building to the inevitable Mr. Beast movie, so let's dive in. Okay, so we kind of touched on it in the intro, but let's quickly review who Styx is if, for some reason, you have been living under a rock. Styx is a channel that produces some of the best edited videos I have ever seen, and their sole goal is to keep making movie-quality trailers on big-name YouTubers until they reach 5 million subscribers. This getting the attention of Mr. Beast to then make a full-length Mr. Beast movie. But to kick things off and wind the clock back a bit, I wanted to ask both of them what got them into filmmaking in the first place. And I was also able to confirm... We are brothers. We are brothers. Nice. And as most brothers do, who have a liking for movies when they're young, like we just started making little short films together at home, and then... Um, I went to film school out of after high school. He I got, did acting school. Oh, cool. Yeah, we would just make short films together. I'd Usually act, he'd he direct. would act, and I would direct. And then we started getting having this love for writing, and then so we both started writing and directing together. And yeah, that was pretty, that's pretty much it. Now let's test to see if you guys know it. Then we can skip to the I found all of this really interesting, and in fact, looking back at their YouTube channel, we can see through their discography that they were making short films way before they started the Mr. Beast series, and so naturally I had to ask them what kind of clicked to start the Mr. Beast series. We also were obsessed with YouTube. We, we watched YouTube, Colin and Samir, all this stuff, and we're like, what's out? Like, what's something we can do to social hack? Social hack? What is social hacking? In social media, it is generally the act of coming up with a unique idea that involves other YouTubers that simultaneously builds a quicker following through their existing audiences and scores immediate trust by that particular influencer being excited to be a part of the unique idea. I've been looking forward to meeting you guys. Styx absolutely smashed this concept with their series by making trailers of big name YouTubers and impressing them. They got the attention of these YouTubers and their audiences. It is a textbook, perfectly executed example of social hacking. And we had a theory that people would watch great films, but we weren't, weren't getting any views. So we're like, how do we make the YouTube version of a short film? Like, what's the way to make short films optimized for YouTube? Yep. And so that led us down the path of like, we did, we did a film about a YouTube controversy in the past called um, the world's, what was it? The, the YouTube's worst prank, the movie. And then we were like, oh, we're kind of onto something there. Like um, people already know about this and we're turning it into a movie. Mm -hmm. And then we were like, well, what if we'd actually started with the biggest goal? We're like, well, what if we actually made a movie about Mr. Beast? Yeah. Would you be willing to get us a meeting with Mr. Beast? What's up, Jimmy? Five million so you could do the Mr. Beast movie. Yeah, the Mr. Yeah. Beast movie. Yes. Here's where you come in. Let's do it! So we get it. The mission statement for Styx is the Mr. Beast movie. And dang, it's a mission statement that just gets you excited. But the thing is, is no matter how good their mission statement is, none of that would matter if they weren't backing it up with incredible videos time after time. And you guys know that this is my favorite thing to talk about. They are fantastic editors, and it is why you love their videos. And while I was interviewing them, I really wanted to ask about their techniques to navigate their usage of voiceover and how they craft their stories. And their answers were really interesting. We we try 
uh, our best to kind of edit the doc and it, for it to make sense and to tell a good story without the VO mm -hmm. and then really come in with VO when it's really needed. Sometimes like we find that that yeah that kind of like helps show not tell yeah and kind of helps you know using the filmmaking techniques to tell the story rather than just explaining because you can like feel what it felt like for us if we can tell it without voiceover yeah. more often there's fun moments with voiceover there's great techniques you can do with voiceover but i think a lot of the time people miss out on like what you can do with a simple cut or what you could do with like putting this scene right before that scene and how does that make you feel yeah and and letting the story play out because then the voiceover is good to come out of the story and and know that you're watching a story mm. but if you want someone to feel like they're in it you got to keep them in the immersed. moment immersed in the moment mm -hmm. and therefore you use like filmmaking techniques other than voiceover to keep them going from this scene to this scene. So you mentioned like, there's so much you can do with a cut or whatever. Like, do you have any from memory that you guys were like, yep, this one stands out. This is when we made this choice and we didn't do VO. Yeah, there's a couple big ones. Yeah, in the Ryan Trahan uh, doc, there's a moment where <laughs> we just found out that we are gonna show it to Ryan. We got his number and we're like, now all we have to do is make the Ryan Trahan movie. And then it cuts and then we're like, the actors, the actor got COVID. <laughs> now we just have to make the best dang trailer we've ever made in our lives. The college staff actor just pulled out. He said I tested positive for COVID this morning, not feeling well. That was like the majority of the shoot today. Uh, the, the juxtaposition in that one cut yep. fully explains how it felt to wake up that morning with the worst news possible. And we didn't have to say anything like, we thought we were happy that day, but wait until the next day, like something yeah. like that. Yeah. It just, it, the cut explained it all. Yeah. And that efficiency does something for us. Like that's that's like the height of what we're aiming for with these, these docs. Like yeah. if you can feel how it felt for us, then we've done our job with the edit. Yeah. And speaking of efficiency, another amazing technique that Styx utilizes in their edits is an AB storyline edit. Now they call this the table read section and essentially what they do is have a shot where they sit down and read the script of their trailer. And while they are going through the script, they intercut bits and bobs from the story of them actually making the movie for the parts that correlate with that given section of the script. This is an absolutely fantastic editing choice and you can see the excitement on their faces as they told me why yeah I think I think it was actually we figured it out on the air act one where we had the footage of us writing the script and then we had the BTS footage of us making the film and at, at first our thought was all right the story will be we wrote the script and then we went and made the film and it was just so boring to watch that way <laughs> it's like <laughs> No one wants to sit through you writing the script and then sit through out of context shots of you just on set watching, like, you know, watching you make the film. And some people can make it work and yeah. make it interesting based on like the story of what's happening on set. But we found this cool uh, technique of just like, you know, intercutting between us writing and coming up with an idea to yep. executing the idea. We were so excited when we landed on this idea because there's a lot to it. So there's like, there's a rule in in storytelling and editing that you shouldn't really be repeating yourself unless it's for a real yeah. good reason. So like the a repetitive, something that's repetitive, um, you lose mm -hmm. people's attention. So we thought overlapping them means we're only telling the, the creator's story once. And then the other thing was people were clicking on the video to learn about the creator more than see a filmmaking nerd's set up lights and call action. Telling the journey of the creator's story and then also getting these little dopamine hits every time we mm. execute an idea that we thought of weeks ago and you see it play out, then you see the final film and you keep doing that. Yeah. It's like you can't look away. Um, so we were pretty stoked about landing on that editing technique. Because they were taking a much more traditional route to the creation of their videos, I had to ask them, how did the final timeline edit compare to the original script? We're the kind of filmmakers that want to edit yeah. our movie in the script. So like, we actually 
run into an issue where it's hard for an actor to read the story sometimes because they're like, wait, what scene is this? But because we've kind of written it how we're going to edit it. Mm. And therefore, we only shoot what we need in the edit as much as possible. I was also able to confirm that they do in fact edit with Final Cut Pro, so I had to ask them what they found the best feature to be in Final Cut Pro. Just the sound aspect of it is elite. Like with the magnetic timeline, sounds being attached to certain things, um, it just makes things way quicker. And then, because you want to actually experiment as an artist. I feel like if you get slowed down by the tool then you're like, you know, keeping up with your brain to test what works. And if we knew how to do it quicker, then we could. But we know that'll take us a few months yep. of learning. Even if it was just a few weeks of learning, we just don't have yep. the time right now. Yeah. They are also absolute masters of rhythm in their editing. And because they just mentioned sound design, I also had to ask if they had a musical background. Yes. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I play drums. I used to play drums and bass. Yeah, so I think that helps. That helps. There we go. Yeah. Um, okay. I didn't think about that. Maybe that does help a little bit. Yeah. The rhythm. Definitely, because like, yeah, because you need to know like timing, pacing, and yeah. also so even to the point of like certain songs can't transition into other songs. Yeah. And like there's been a bunch of times where we're, you know, when you like need to shorten a song so it fits and we try it and like, wait, no, this sounds wrong there's like something we don't even know what it is half the time which like musically this doesn't sound right um and so we keep experimenting and we count the bars and all that um so yeah i think it does help to have a musical background so in summary after talking with sticks we learned exactly why they are exploding on youtube and although their mission statement and masterful social hacking are definitely part of the equation the real reason is their masterful editing and storytelling skills and within that we learned that a lot of their edit is done in pre-production we learned a new technique today on how to not repeat ourselves within our edits and we learned their opinions on Final Cut Pro and how it helps them make edits with masterful sound design and incredible rhythm. If you guys would like to see the full interview conversation, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Thank you, Stick, so much for this once in a lifetime opportunity. We learned so much here on the channel. And with that, stay dorky, my beautiful humans. My name's Curtis. And I'm Lucas. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>